hello friends in the current video tutorial i will be talking about converting higher dimension arrays into lower dimension arrays means supposing the you have a three dimensional array and you want to convert it into a two dimensional array so how to do that so let's begin let's begin by first converting two dimensional array into one dimensional array so this is the program this is the input two dimensional array it has 50 elements and i am going to convert it into one dimensional array how i am going to convert it let's see the program first this is reshape array function this is array size function this is multiply array elements function i have taken the input array into the array size function i have calculated the array the size of the array is displayed here and multiplied the array elements that is 5 into 10 so the total number of elements in the input array is 50 this dimension i have wired it to the reshape array and here is the output array let's see the program how it runs so size of the input array is calculated automatically Let's first reinitialize the values to default. Let's put it 0 and set them as default values. Let's run. So you see that two dimensional array containing 50 elements is converted into a one dimensional array containing 50 elements so let's reinitialize let's see more versions of this let's convert three dimensional array into one dimensional array So this is a three dimensional array. This is the first page, one to 20 elements. This is the second page. This is the third page. This is the fourth page. And this is the fifth page. So it has five pages and each page has five rows and four columns. And I want to convert this into a 1D array. So how I have done this? this is a 3d array again I have used this array size function and I have wired it to the 3d array output so this array size function calculates the size of the input array and I have multiplied the array elements and generated the total number of elements I've wired it to the reshape array and output 1d array is generated let's see
so you see that this 1d array has been generated containing 100 elements Let's see one another version of this. Can we convert 3D array into 2D array? Again, this is the 3D array I have taken. It has five pages. And I have just used this rows and columns. And I have not calculated the rows and columns and pages I've just wired rows and columns and I have output uh, I have used this reshape array and I have generated the output 2d array so let's run the program uh, let's check this is 100 elements so we have to see that total number of elements that is number of pages multiplied by number of rows number of columns it should be 100 so there are five pages five pages number of columns is four and number of rows is five so five multiplied by five multiplied by four that is 100 so we have to write rows and columns accordingly so that the number of rows and columns multiplied give the number of elements or the must match to the multiplied dimensions of the 3d array so let's write as 20 rows 20 rows and 5 columns 20 rows will be big and let's have one more column just to have so this is output 2d array let's see if we can automatically select the number of rows columns uh, we just have to select the number of rows I just have to wire only the number of rows and nothing else columns and pages would be select automatically uh, there will be no pages in 2d I just have to wire the number of rows and the output is generated so this is again 100 element array so I just want 20 rows uh, let's see let's change I would just want 10 rows and let it be calculated automatically so I just run the program you see automatically it has been calculated how I have programmed this I've used this array size function from array size I have generated index uh, I have generated the output of array size so array size is a three element array the first element exhibits the first element is 
the number of the page and the number of rows and four is the number of columns so the first element i have taken this is the number of pages this is the number of rows and this is the number of columns i have used index array the three numbers i have multiplied i can also use this function which i have used earlier which is this function multiply array elements then total number of elements i have calculated i have divided the number of rows over here and i have divided the total number of elements by number of rows and i have calculated number of columns and i have divided the number of columns and given to the reshape array size at the columns dimension and here is the output 2d array so that was all about converting higher dimensional arrays into lower dimensional arrays we have converted 2d arrays into 1d array and 3d array into 2d array and 3d array into 1d array so i hope you have liked this video thanks for watching this video